Uh, hi, I'm Joe Sabotnik, and I'm interested in how we lose energy, not how we use energy. What do I mean by lose energy? Well, everybody knows that we use energy. Just flip on your light switch, turn on your lamp, watch the glow, pay your electric bill later. You know you use energy. But what happened to that energy? There's a lot of energy in the world. Where did it all go? My research interests are understanding how all the atoms in your wall and all the molecules attached to your wall, how they're all jiggling now just because you turned on your lamp. Well, how do I make progress in this field? I'm a theorist, and I use two things. First, I use computers. The world of the universe, the laws of the universe on a microscopic scale are quantum mechanical, and they're just too complicated to solve with pencil and paper. Second, I have to make a lot of approximations. Approximations are necessary, again, because quantum mechanics is just too complicated. Quantum mechanics tells you, for instance, that electrons are clouds, which can be in lots of different places at one given time. And the same thing for molecules. Well, that makes our calculations really different, let's say, from NASA's calculations. NASA can send a probe from here, let's say, to Jupiter, and they do it great. It's much really complicated, unfortunately, for me to do these calculations on atoms and molecules because I don't know exactly where the electrons are and where the molecules are. I have to worry about all the different places the electron could be and all the different places that the molecules could be in the atoms. And the number of probabilities just adds up incredibly and it gets really complicated. So I have to make approximations. The approximations I've been working with recently have been called surface hopping approximations, which were suggested about 25 years ago by John Tully. And the idea is to embrace the randomness of the universe as opposed to hiding from it. Well, why am I interested in this? Well, there are two reasons. When you turn on your lamp, most of the energy in that lamp is going to be dissipated or lost in the wall within picoseconds, really fast, one trillionth of a second. If we can do calculations that can recover what's going on on that time scale, maybe we'll learn new things about the universe. Second, if we can also figure out how to control that energy loss, maybe we can design new materials or new molecules to make the world a more energy efficient place. Thanks a lot.